Here we are, the top 528 gigabyte RetroPie or recall box images for the Raspberry Pi 3. I just want to start this off with a little bit of history. I mean, I feel like Ray's image was kind of the iconic 128 gigabyte image, the first time to kind of somebody to stuff that 128 gigabyte SD card full of ROMs and really give you what a lot of people would call the ultimate collection. Not only did it have a track mode, but you can also boot it up into emulation station as well. And it was just a gorgeous image. I mean, uh, everyone loves it. it. It will go down in history as kind of the, the first of its kind. And that's why I wanted to bring it up today, which is, you know, where did this all stem out of? And, uh, you know, ever since then, we've had theme creators create some awesome themes. We've had people compressing CD games so you can get even more CD games on the 128. We've seen Emulation Station go from a horizontal-only type of thing to a vertical uh, wheels and vertical consoles, things like that. So Emulation Station competing with a track mode as far as looks and play and video snaps. Um, you know, all that stuff is brand new. And uh, it's, it's amazing. It really is of where we've come from. And uh, as far as would Ray's make my, my, my list now, no, it wouldn't. I mean, if Ray updated it all and got it all squared away like some of these other ones, threw it on like a Motion Blue or a Hyper Pi, you know, maybe, maybe. But that's what a lot of these people here are doing now, and that's why they're getting the top five. So this has evolved a lot. Uh, some of you don't care. I get it. But just want to, you know, give a shout out to, you know, everyone that's been able to get us to where we are today. Because uh, whether you notice it or not, it's a, it's a lot of little things that have gotten us here. So without further ado, here is my top five Raspberry Pi 3 128 gigabyte images. In number five, we have DMC's version three, Nintendo only build. This is 128 gigabytes. Although it's not using all of its data, you can definitely add some more to it. It's using a custom Ruckage SNES classic theme running RetroPie. This will fit on a SanDisk Ultra or Samsung Evo Select uh, or Pro Plus just fine. And something that I love about it is it's just, it's totally done out from start to finish as far as everything Nintendo as much as you can. If you had like a, a Kentaro or any of these other SNES clone Raspberry Pi cases and an SNES controller, this would be the perfect pairing of everything Super Nintendo. And as you can see here, it's not just the base Ruckage theme. He's also added some custom collections here. For example, the Super Nintendo has the dates on it, how many games are on it. And he's also added some hacked games. And hacked games aren't included on a lot of these images, but they are here. So you're getting pretty much, you know, I'm sure there's other ROM hacks out there, things like that. But you're getting, you know, 95% of all the Nintendo games ever made from NES all the way up to Nintendo 64. Now the Raspberry Pi can't, emulate GameCube, so it ends there at Nintendo 64. But as you see here, it's a beautiful front end. And not only does it have the front end, it has a custom boot screen that's Super Nintendo related. It has custom bezels, custom launch screens. It's all set up for that perfect Nintendo image. Something I like about it is the Nintendo DS and the entire Nintendo 64 collection. Um, as far as arcade, as you see here, it does have an arcade collection, but it's all the verse games, so it's the Nintendo arcade games that were made for the arcade. I'm not a huge fan of those, but it's nice that they have them. Um, also, something I haven't mentioned, it does come with the JPEG and then a video snap, so the actual experience within Emulation Station is very, very nice. So as you can see, it just overall, as far as a, a theme-built image where it's like a purpose-built Nint everything Nintendo from start to finish this one does it the one thing I might recommend is getting a, a slight overclock go to 1.3 gigahertz for the Nintendo 64 gameplay but other than that it's a great capable image the Nintendo DS is all ready to go the emulators installed uh, all the hotkeys are set up so for those reasons this gets number five let's move on to number four in number four, we have Galistio, and this time it's the one and only recall box spoiler recall box image in this top five roundup, and this is Galistio's 128 gigabyte. This was released not too long ago, a few weeks ago, and I was super impressed by it. It definitely took a couple people by surprise. I think some people didn't like it because some things are in uh, Brazilian and Portuguese. 
Um, but for the most part, I didn't really mind. Uh, but something to know is there are like some Mario games that are Brazilian, Sonic the Hedgehog, etc. But for me, the, the gameplay is, is all the same, and so it's totally fine. So I would actually put this close to like three in my mind. I really like Recall Box and how easy it is to use. But some people have pointed out to me that they want, uh, you know, all English, for example. If you're Brazilian, I would put this as my number one, just so you know. <laughs> if you do speak Portuguese, go for number one here. But uh, for those English native speakers, uh, that's why it's getting number four. But I love Recall Box, how easy it is. This is a huge loaded image. I love that there's Dreamcast, PSP, uh, place, huge PlayStation collection. So the newer games really are appealing to me. Um, Sega CD, it even has some of those as well. Those are some large files. So you get some really advanced games that take up a lot of space, all compressed into this 128 gigabyte uh image now something else i don't necessarily like about it that i've said in the previous video and you should definitely watch that video if you are going to go with this one because you do need to use a usb adapter to burn the image onto your or write the image onto your sd uh, card but once you get that all set up you change the language it does come with background music it's all pre-set up the dreamcast controls work the playstation controls work huge collections it's um it's over like 11,000 titles. So it's one of the bigger collections out there and it's very um, it's very eclectic. You're gonna see systems from Atari all like, and then as I said, some newer systems like Dreamcast and PSP. So for all those reasons, this makes my number four in this list, but this could definitely creep up on some of the other ones we're about to see soon. Next up is Weird Dirty Gaming's 128 gigabyte RetroPie image. And I remember the initial reason for this image was to uh, add a bunch of scum VM games to some of his previous builds. And because it's 128, this thing is, has over 10,000 titles on it. It's a huge collection. The theme you're looking at right now is called Super Display. So Mr. Harris is the author of the actual um, the actual emulation station uh, theme, but the actual image and the, and the ROMs being selected and the setup all done by Weird Dirty Gaming in cooperation with Team ZT. So something right off the bat that I really like about this is A, it's just a huge eclectic collection. Two, it's a beautiful uh, theme. But three, if you go to RetroPie setup on this image, you're gonna have all sorts of pre-installed scripts, everything from GPIO shutdown to Team ZT installer to background music, all sorts of other scripts. So it's very, very easy to use. So that's something I really like about it. The other thing is just such an eclectic collection to have Scum VM. Scum VM takes up a lot of space. There's Super Nintendo, there's some of the Super Nintendo knockoff, uh, like the BSX, Stella View, uh, Game & Watch, Game Boy. So some of the more obscure systems you don't see, but they don't necessarily take up a ton of space, are on here as well. You even have a Nintendo DS. I feel like a lot of 128s kind of shy away from the Nintendo DS, and it's a great system, especially with Mario Kart and some of the other titles on there. So it's really cool. It does come with bezels as well really simple ones, ones with just controllers that are system specific. Um, it also comes with loading screens and introduction videos. So overall, it's totally well done, everything from start to finish. It's a great 128, I've definitely put it in my top five. But in this one, it's making top three because there's been some heavy hitters come in recently into the scene and we're gonna show those ones next. <laughs> And in number two, we have Regilod version 4, 128 gigabyte image. And this guy's been around the corner. When I first made 128 top three, he made it on that list as well. I've always been a fan of his work. Here you go, you got the super display theme just like before, but this one's fully loaded. A lot of uh, PC games that you didn't see on the previous image, but also all the same collections and all the same games as the previous image has. It is a little bit newer of an image. It's been dropped a little sooner. And it just looks beautiful, everything from the actual emulation station to some pre-installed scripts to the collections that are installed, very, very complete collections. Now, something that sets this thing apart is the attract mode. When you go into the track mode, you have beautiful folders. Folder. So, for example, you go to computer, and then you have all your computer systems. You go to um, consoles, you have all your consoles. You go to portables, and you have all your portables. So this image is gonna is really appealing because it's not only for those people that want emulation station, but also a track mode. So those people wanting a bar top, or also those people wanting a standalone system, that's for you. Now, you might not hear me commenting a lot about bezels and everything else, because this, is ha this has all the other stuff I've been saying that the previous images have. 
Something this image has that the other images don't have is Dreamcast as well as Daphne. So having Dreamcast, having Daphne, a nice addition as well. But as you can see, beautiful track mode, beautiful emulation station. For those reasons, this is definitely a go-to, and it's my number two. All right, and in number one, we have Virtual Man version four. This image dropped very recently. That's one of the reasons why it's getting number one. It's just, it's up to date, it's beautiful. Just like the previous image, it does have an attract mode and it also has emulation station. You can see there, I started off in Green Alicious. You can also go into comic book theme and then you can also install any of the other themes you want like super display as you've seen earlier. Something really cool about this image is it still has a nice little N64 collection and it has a ton of Sega CD as well as PlayStation games as well. Something that I think would make it even better would be if it had Daphne on there. I know a lot of people that for bar tops would like Daphne. Um, whether they play it or not, I just think it's something, you know, Space Ace and uh, Dragon's Lair is something that they really want. Um, as far as consoles, it's got them all. As far as, you know, portables, it's got majority of them. It's all up to date. It's got its top five splash screens on it. Um, it's got the new updated arcade set from Mad Little Pixel, the config file from a while ago. So you might have seen the Swine Apple image going around, things like that. And so that has it all up to date. Um, it's got majority of what I'd like to see. And it also has some of the older systems as well. So for all those reasons, it's getting my number one. I think it's a great choice. I think all these 128s are a great choice and each of them kind of have certain things that the other ones don't. But for the most part, you know, they're 80% all there. Um, and what's so great about a 128 is you can go buy a 200 gigabyte SD card, swap it onto there, and then go ahead and expand your file system. You've got an extra 60 gigs or so of things you want to add. So if you missed a PlayStation game or a PSP game or you want to add Dreamcast, it's very, very easy to do. Um, something again with Virtual Man that he did is he does have all the Doom uh, games on there as well under PC and a couple other little things like Scum VM that's installed. So you're going to see little things that you don't see on other images. So really nice to see all of that. Um, 128s have always kind of been the holy grail because it's like a lot plus video snaps you can get. You can see the majority of these images have video snaps. I think it's so great because it really improves the experience for not only the veteran users but also the amateur users who are just checking this out for the first time. They think how cool is that video preview. Uh, you know, even the SNES Classic and systems like that still haven't kind of caught on to all the different features that Recall Box and RetroPie have to offer. So for those reasons, these are my top five. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I try to, you know, when I pick these, I try to think about what most people would like. I don't necessarily think about my own personal use either, because if that was the case, as I mentioned, the Galicio might uh, actually score a little higher, things like that. But um, if I had any of these five on my pie, I know I'd be happy, and I know you will be too. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next one.